Even as the search proceeded today, with police in the air, on land, and in the water, law enforcement struck a somber tone. You just have to be realistic that uh, there is a, a possibility that these folks are dead. Three of the four who vanished last Wednesday, Tina Herman, her 11-year-old son Cody, and family friend Stephanie Sprang, are still missing. Police said they found an unusual amount of blood in their home. The fourth, Tina Herman's 13-year-old daughter, Sarah Maynard, was rescued Sunday after being bound and gagged for four days in the basement of the home of 30-year-old Matthew Hoffman. Authorities would not say whether she'd been assaulted, but they did say she was unquestionably courageous. Under the circumstances, a 13-year-old girl being held captive for four days by a total stranger, uh, I would call her the epitome of bravery. Hoffman, an ex-con who served eight years in jail for arson, has offered minimal cooperation since his arrest on kidnapping charges. His friend said he'd been depressed recently. His neighbor said he stood out for the wrong reasons. He is a weirdo. I mean, he, he really was a weirdo. There's a hammock where he would sit and watch people. Much of the search today centered on Foundation Park, a heavily wooded area surrounding ponds, located a short walk from Hoffman's home. Steve Thompson, Stephanie Sprang's father, was among volunteers. This is the point of interest right in here. So uh, let's, let's do what we can and thank you guys. Be, be careful yourselves, please. Now, police see no signs of accomplices and say there are no other persons of interest they want to talk to in this case beyond the man they already have in custody here at this jail behind me. Katie? Dean Reynolds in Mount Vernon, Ohio. Dean, thank you.